to 14%. Permanent damage imminent. Ceasefire negotiations recommended. Shields down to 0.2%. Vessel to be destroyed on next hit. Eject, eject. He has no chance. Destroy him now. Patient signal incoming. Human wants to talk with us. Except. Hail the brain, hail Carol Minjins. Hail, hail the brain. brain. Why do you hail us, you dirty human? Our pure salute shouldn't be used by a cockroach like you. By Carol Minjin war law, I request the right to become a slave. I'm not in need of you. I've had enough. Destroy him now. The value proof law offers me the right of two sentences. I see you studied our laws. I hate lawyers. For this reason alone may I eradicate you. Go, speak your last two sentences. I have valuable information on my ship. Information that could make you an instant hero. Human, you try to gain time by telling lies. What information do you have? Tell me at once. On board you are going to find ultra secret coordinates to the location in Omega Sector where the entire human race has survived. I don't need it. We will scan the sector and find you anyways. Your battleships are being pursued and destroyed as we speak. That's not what I'm talking about. Our evacuation began three Karaminjin sequences before the Great Blitzkrieg. We were just unable to evacuate all. I'm giving you three cloaked planets Population 5 million human. Traitor! Why should I believe you, human? Hold transmission. Advise. I say destroy him. He has nothing. But if it is true, and we find such a large rat's nest, I could become fleet commander. If he wanted to betray him, he wouldn't be lying in the first place. He's a liar. Resume transmission. All right, human. I accept you as our slave. Unlock the database received with data transfer. No way. You can't fool me. After you will have the information, I'm as good as dead. You have to transport me safely on board your ship so I can follow the dogma procedure of becoming your slave. Captain, don't. Dark human, we have to lower our shields. We'll be exposed to these missiles. Program complete. Activation on execute. It's not worth the time dealing with this field. You might be right, but I can't risk losing such precious information based upon your speculation. Resume. Human, deactivate your weapons and prepare for docking. We are taking you aboard. Thank you, Master. Hail the brain, hail Carol Minjian. Hail the brain. There is no reason to smile. If you do not have what you promised, your death will be slow, torture, in the old man jelly style. He has deactivated his weaponry. Permission to destroy his turrets. Permission granted.
Low battery power. Hello, General. How can I help you? General? Who am I? Robinson Crusoe, General of the Third Army of World Union. Physical health check recommended. Insert the needle in your right arm, sir. Physical condition stable. Temporary memory loss detected. Suggestions? Rest and relaxation. When will I get my memory back? Exact point in time, unknown. Insufficient data, low battery power. Analyzing the memory loss syndrome. Scanning. Approximately 146 hours. Computer, where am I? RX-14, planet with forever daylight. 12.3% dry land, 87.7% water. Safe habitat for human beings except solarization period. Location, scanning. 146 degrees latitude, 80 degrees longitude. Insufficient power. Computer, define solarization period. RX-14 revolves around three suns. Once every 14 time quadrants, two suns get on the same orbit. Insufficient power. As a result of the extra nuclear fusion, the radiation on the affected side of the planet increases to 489%. Recommendations? How do I survive the effects of solarization? Insufficient power. Shutting down. on. Hello? General, this is Code Red. Password 00 Charlie Foxtrot 2. Echo Zulu 49. I repeat, this is Code Red. Roger that. What's happening? General, are you watching TV? No, I was... Uh, no, I'm not. Orders from the top. Watch TV on local news channels. And paired up programming made by NASA in the next 30 minutes. After you watch the program, you have to report to base at 1300 hours. Roger that. They have discovered a new weapon. There are reports of friends and family members that are just disappearing. It seems that they are able to pick people from random locations and teleport them from one spot that is being nuked from orbit. If you see anybody disappearing, seek shelter and go as far as you can from there. Nobody would reason such. It's unbelievable. Seven years ago, we discovered the speed of light and far-reaching space travel. We thought this advancement was to be celebrated and declared our new world day. It has proven Maybe. to be our day. Hey. Europe we'll is on the fire. No the South America. American continent has sunk. And North America appears to be next. 
As far as we know, there have been no enemy landings reported yet. Our planet may still survive. We are under attack. What looks like a scene from a science fiction film is actually happening. Our live space cameras are showing us footage of how we are being attacked from orbit by an unknown number of enemy warships. Who knows what will happen next? Today, NASA declared that they've been gathering information on these aliens and their culture for over a year now. They've known who they are and where they come from, but decided to keep it a secret. Quoting a NASA press release, we did not release this to the public to avoid widespread panic. Human race, having swastika as their symbol, their organizational structure seems to be based on an ancient totalitarian regime called the Nazis. This regime, we thought it was eradicated more than a millennium ago. Here we go. We were just announced that NASA released film footage that is going to be broadcast over all media. This footage is intended to, to teach us we have to watch how the TV. we are supposed to fight back these aliens and what kind of animals Jennifer! are we dealing with? Jennifer! I'm not alone.
January. January. You, January. Me, Robinson. Jan. No, 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 no. January. Robinson. Robinson. Robinson, yes. January. January. Solarization is coming. No. The solarization. No. no. Solarization. Solarization, like everything else on this planet. Sometimes I wonder if you're even human.
Coco Moco. What? Migo Coco Moco. What's Coco Moco? Whoa. It's impressive how good you are at climbing trees. You're obviously not afraid of heights. Oh, so these are Coco Moco. Coco Moco. We call these eggs. 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 Yeah, we call them eggs. Come on, let's hit the road back. Where we go? We'll go home. Cook these. Where's home? Home is where we sleep. Oh, we go play Sexy Savage? No. I'm going to teach you a new trick. I'm going to teach you how to milk a goat. Go. Computer load organoportation program. Loading. Temporary transfer of voice recognition to January. I read the instruction board, honey. Computer, scan the planet for goat-like animal. Scanning. Scanning. Darwin branch. Herbivore located. Goat! <laughs> Very good. Okay, now we need to show the computer where to get the milk. Computer, locate goat breasts. Let me try. Computer, locate goat breasts. Ready for input. You're done. Computer, begin teleportation process of organic material. Milk. Transport in five, four, three, two. Now get ready with the one. cup. Milk! <laughs> very good, you did it. How? That's well, very simple. The, uh, the computer emits a high-frequency bionic field. It, it hits the target, the milk and the goat's tits, and transfers it into the smallest particles in the universe, matter. It is then transferred back here to us through the bionic field and reconstructed into its original atomic structure. From goat titties. Yes. Computer, stop transfer. Mmm, you drink. Mmm. Let's go for a swim. I'd be so lonely without you. Robinson, there's an important thing I need to talk to you about. What is it? I have to go back to the tribe. You want to go back to your tribe? I have to go back. Why? We're having so much fun. I know. I I mean, I feed you well, I treat you like a princess. We hunt, we fish together, we play every day. I mean, what did I do wrong? Nothing. I promise we won't play Cave the Midget anymore. I like Cave the Midget, it's not that. Then what is it? I have to become the trophy for God Alcar. It was my turn. It's my destiny. The tribe was going to kill you. No, they weren't going to kill me, Robinson. You don't understand. It was my turn when you took me. Because I'm missing, he may punish you. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I can take care of both of us. I know. You're very brave. But Amkar has many powers. I'm afraid for you. Listen, this, this god of yours, Amkar, he doesn't exist. Don't say like that. He can hear. I'll pray for you. Listen, look at me. Where I come from, we learn from our experience of a thousand years that 
that religion taken to extremes is dangerous. I mean, billions of my kind lost their lives over nothing. So our government created a system, they created a law that says, you can't tell anyone what to believe in, and no one can tell you what not to believe in. We eliminated organized religion, but nevertheless kept the freedom to believe. But what about my turn to meet God? What do you mean? Robinson, when you took me, I was ready to meet Amkar. What is this Amkar, this ritual you're talking about? Tell me more. Every time the door is complete on the sky, we prepare for the ritual. The door? The door to heaven. See, the door's not complete yet. This is taking place during solarization periods? Solarization? That's how my computer defines what happens on this island. I'll explain it to you later. Go on. After the door's complete, we put the girl in the sacrifice room. Then, big sound, and Amkar comes from the sky to meet the chosen girl. What does he do with her? We're not allowed to watch until there's another big sound. And then we take the girl from the sacrifice room and we make tests with her. What test? We use the magic object. If only a small line, that means she's not ready. But if it's a big line and a small line, that means she's ready to go to paradise with Amkar. How does she get to paradise? We place her on the hot spot and Amkar takes her. So you're telling me that this god of yours, Amkar, comes from the sky from time to time and takes these girls and puts them on a hot spot. I don't under hot spot. I don't understand any of this stuff. What does it mean? I have to go back, Robinson. The magic mirror showed it was my turn. You don't have to go anywhere alone. I need to find out what's going on. O oh, Amkar, father from paradise, tell us who is the chosen one. Tell us who you want this time. Ramona, the great Amkar has chosen you to be next. Thank you, great Amkar. supposed to watch. Don't be afraid. It's very important for you to watch. I'm scared. Don't be afraid. Nothing's gonna happen to you, I promise. Watch. God Amkar. Golden Della 
capacità l'arco la 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 resta bottega che la vai già presto la 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 God was quick. He's very powerful. Oh, che bel vivere, che bel piacere, che bel piacere. Era un barbiere di qualità, di qualità. I'm ready for my one-time best. Good luck, Ramona. What did she just hand her? That's the test. To see if she is ready to go to paradise with Dad Ankar. It is positive! Yay! Thank you, God Amkar. Stop this. This is a Carolmingian, not a god. And this is a Carolmingian magazine, not a magic mirror. And, and that can kill you. Tamaka, Hamaka, Makawi, Tawi, Tawi, Tamatiua, Tamatiua. He is with me. There is no danger. I know him. Why did you run? You betrayed us. You betrayed Amkar. I, I was kidnapped. He thought he was saving me. Don't hurt him, please. Mona, Cecilia, take them away. Yes, yes. I want to thank you ladies for giving me the opportunity to speak freely. My name is Robinson Caruso. I'm a human born on the planet Versus. I want you to know I'm not your enemy. I come to you guys in peace. How did you get here? I fell from the sky in my capsule after my ship was destroyed. Are you a god? No, de definitely not a god. I'm, I'm flesh and blood just like you. The only difference is that I'm more technologically advanced than you guys are. I may do things that seem like magic, but this doesn't make me a god. Are there many of you? Yes, about five million of us escaped after the Great Blitzkrieg. What's the Great Blitzkrieg? Good question. Computer, analyze and define Blitzkrieg. Word definition, Blitzkrieg. Translated from ancient German language. Lightning war or flash war is a popular name for offensive operational level military doctrine, which involves an initial bombardment followed by employment of mobile forces, attacking with speed and surprise to prevent an enemy from implementing a coherent defense. The founding principles of these types of operations were developed in the 19th century by various nations and adapted in years stop. after. Miracle, a speaking thing? This is what I'm trying to explain to you. There's, there's no difference between this and this. They're both used as tools. He doesn't have breasts. He's weird looking, but for some reason I feel attracted to him. We knew about the attack a few months before it happened, but unfortunately we weren't able to evacuate everyone. Many of my kind lost their lives. We are now in a far off space, hiding on three planets, hidden from our enemies. Robinson, please tell them about your enemies. Thank you, January. Our main enemy is a race named the Carolmingians. Their sole purpose is to kill and or enslave the entire human race. That makes you guys all slaves because the god you believe in is actually a Carolmingian. But what happened to your breath? We can discuss this later in private. But now I need you guys to help me defeat your god Amkar and free yourselves from slavery. Our God? No, 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 no. I, I promise I will do everything in my power to try and capture him alive because I want him to tell you the truth from his mouth. Why did Amkar not bring more people like you? I suppose you mean males. I, I don't know the answer to this question. This is 
that's why I need to capture them and find out. I have no idea why a Carolingian would fill an entire island with just women. Uh, where are you guys from? We don't know. So you don't remember posing for Play Caromedian magazine? You guys are on the cover. You don't remember taking pictures? We told you we don't remember. Jenner, hand me the object you guys used to test Ramona. It's, a, it's got a familiar smell. It's urine. Thank you. Okay. Um, computer, analyze foreign object. Analyzing. This is an HCG measurement unit. HCG can be detected in urine or blood after implantation, also known as a pregnancy test. This is a test to determine whether or not a woman is pregnant. Congratulations, you are pregnant. So when the Carolingian is done with you guys, if you're pregnant, he gets rid of you. The new member is here. know her? She's my wife. Jennifer, it's me, Robinson. Do you recognize me? I don't know who you are. I'm your husband, so you're right. But we lived together for five years. Talking about. Baby, you have our names tattooed on your stomach. Check it. Clothes are unusual too, Robinson. Usually we appear naked. This is what she was wearing during the Carolingian attacks before she disappeared. Maybe she's a gift from God to you. It's not a gift from God. There is no God, there's no gift. If this Carol Mingian knew I was here, I would be dead already. I lost you forever, Jen. Are you happy she's here? Of course I'm happy. She's my wife. January, I didn't mean it like that. What did you mean then? Who is she? She's just a friend. Good at this, it feels so good. Massage is considered to be one of the oldest forms of medical therapy. Where'd you learn that? Oh, you've been using the computer a lot, haven't you? I like to stay informed. Listen, sweetie, I've been thinking. Is there any chance that you'll stop fighting with the other girls? But I don't like to share you. You're not sharing me. I'm all yours. I see you sometimes go with them, alone. Uh, I, I have to hold personal meetings with them, you know that. It's part of my responsibilities as village leader. It's January, isn't it? Well, I talked to her about this and... Well, I think she's correct. Of course I'm right. Everyone agrees with me except her. Hi, January. Okay, sit down, I need to talk to both of you. Jennifer, I want you to stop fighting with the other girls over me. But I don't want to share you. Come on, sweetie. Your, your job is to respect me and help me relax. I'm very important. Indispensable, uh, vital, essential, central. In other words, I'm, I'm trying to say I'm, I'm the key here. Try a new type of bond, which is where you go and find tropical fruit and make us something to drink. How do we decide how much time you spend with me and how much time you spend with her? Well, 
flip a coin. Robinson, I'm here to remind you, the time is short. Day after tomorrow is solarization. The time for Amcar's next landing. Time goes fast, doesn't it? Prepare the girls for a meeting. We're gonna need a plan. As you all know, tomorrow is gonna be a big day. And the outcome is gonna either be him or me. We hope you win, Robinson. Thank you. Surely I need all your support and cooperation. Because it's not just our lives we're fighting for tomorrow, but our freedom too. Yeah! yeah. yeah. This Carol Mingian, this low-life Nazi bastard has brought you to this planet and treated you as an inferior race. Well, tomorrow, I'm gonna make him pay for it. Me, Robinson Caruso, I promise, you will never be chained again! Yeah! yeah. I was lonely. I was lonely and lost. And then you girls came into my life and changed this godforsaken island into a floating paradise. You brought us knowledge and happiness. We're so grateful, Robinson. Yes, well, the feeling's mutual. I, I feel I have this bond, this connection with you girls and myself. And it's never meant to be broken forever. Robinson, the mirror has arrived. Hand it over, beautiful. The Carol Mingian wants my wife. He wants me? Yes, but he's not gonna have you. Look at where this picture's taken. I don't recognize this place. I can't believe none of you girls remember where you're coming from or your past. And you, Jennifer, this is taken in our kitchen right before you disappeared. It's a little bit of my shoulder. I don't remember. This is very unusual. Amka never chooses a brand new cover. She is right. There are too many weird things happening with this sacrifice. She came last, and she was wearing clothes on arrival, and she was part of your life. This may be a trap designed for you, Robinson. You must be very careful. I couldn't agree more. Maybe he knows you're here. Maybe so, but I still have to confront him. See you tomorrow, Amkar. Here is my little human nursey. Ready for daddy? Mm -hmm. Of course you are. Mm -hmm. Look at that beautiful body. Mm -hmm. And those long, mm -hmm. strong legs. Ah, who are you? Your worst nightmare. Oh! <laughs> ah! Ah!
I'm a god hunker. You better start making some sense, Count Minjin, or else. Or else what? He's a scanner on board your ship and had some interesting results. It seems like there's some pretty hungry creatures swimming around in these waters. So? Well, the way I see it is you have two options. One, start answering our questions responsibly and I'll give you breakfast. Two, you can become breakfast for those creatures if you keep up with your Nazi attitude. I'm dead anyway. Not yet. I'm going to be soon. When your bios are satisfactory. It's not that. I'm not going to say anything. Can we know, human? Come on. Can we know? Throw me to the sea with the monsters. And let's get over it. At least I'm going to fast dead. That's a brave Nazi. It's not a brave Nazi. I'm obviously a coward. Why would you call yourself a coward? I would rather have a, a fast dead by the three creature than have a suffer torture. But when I were reported missing, they would track us down. And every soul on this island will die a slow, a painful death. I know everything about your Mengele torture. Dr. Mengele, <laughs> a German SS officer in the Nazi concentration camp Auschwitz. He gained notoriety for doing questionable experiments on his human prisoners who later started to call him the Angel of Death. I know about how all you Karaminjans use his methods as a custom. No Karaminjans, only Nazi Karaminjans. You keep saying you're not a Nazi. All Karaminjans are Nazis. I'm not a Nazi. I know about you. I know about you, Costa Nostra Mafia. There isn't no such a thing as a mafia. <laughs> That's it, just like they always say. Do the crime and then deny it. You guys lived on old planet Earth in a section called Sicily. You were all criminals. I'm not a criminal! Oh yeah? Well then why in the 23rd century did we put all your ancestors on a mother class transport ship programmed never to come back into our solar system? And only recently we discovered that you had been taken over by Nazi Karominjins and forced into slavery and some kind of DNA modification. You guys are all Nazis. So you know about us? The Nazis Karominjins found the mothership floating in space with no destination. And the whole our escape was to blame you guys and lie that we are come from some historic dictator named Benito Mussolini. We lie. We pretend to be Nazis, to stay alive. Okay, let's say you're not a Nazi, Carol Minjian. Well, the rest of the Carol Minjians are gonna track you down to this planet. They're gonna see that you're a prisoner. They're gonna free you and kill us. No, after they will see what I created in this planet. What did you create? You're not a Nazi. This is your chance to redeem yourself, Amkar. Will you choose to fight with us and do the right thing? You are as smart you want to fight making this decision. I'm Robinson Caruso. You can call me Robinson. I'm coming. So who are we and from where did you bring us? I was always dreaming of having human girlfriends. But since the Nazis seized power and took control of our civilization, the relationship between us and any other creature of biological or mechanical nature Wherever it might be, the word forbidden. Racism. Exactly. All my life, I lived a nightmare. You cannot believe how hard it is to deny something that you really want to, you need, or you have to do. It's so difficult to hide every day 
your true Karamesian nature. So you love humans? Yes! That's why you're here. That's why I create you. You are the clones. Clones? But that's why none of you guys have any memory. They have no recollection because I use it only the DNA structure, so the brain information was not stored anywhere. DNA? What is DNA? Please explain. DNA is the nucleic acid that all living organisms are made up of. Where did you get the DNA? When the Karamijans Nazis attack your home planet, every human was scanned in a whole central unit during the teleportation. I didn't understand a single thing of what you just said. What he said is before teleportation of humans, we were transferred to... We call them as termination camps. They were keeping people's individual configurations, but they couldn't get their memory. That's why you don't remember anything, because you're not really my wife. You look like her, you act like her, but you have your own personality because you didn't live her life. So that makes us equal. Ha! Huh. But I'm curious, Amkar, why did you clone my wife? Pure coincidence? I guess. I was browsing my terminal looking for hot human chicks and uh, I stopped on her. She had look so good in that nurse outfit. I don't have any other clothes. You don't need any other clothes. That, that's fine. Robinson, you were very lucky man to have a, such a beautiful woman as your wife. I'm sorry she died. Yeah. Thank God for cloning. So where did you get the rest of us from? Most of you from sexy magazines. Used to be a models or celebrities. But you see, before the Nazis took over, we used to have a Karamesian freedom society. We had a freedom of religion, separation of power and state, and sexual liberty. Play Karamesian magazine was very popular. The mirror is from the sexy magazine? Yes! But your girls for mirror are pages of one sexy magazine ever. You dirty little devil, you only clone the hottest women. <laughs> you bet. He's a liar. Why do you kill us when we get pregnant? No, I don't kill anyone. I put them in better place. Yeah, that's right, what did you do with them? You see, Robinson, this is a problem I had. Karamesians and humans are very different. But, for some miracle reasons, our races are sexually compatible. Are you talking about reproduction? Exactly! And not only that, but our reproduction organs are harmonized so good that the rate of a conception is up to the 87%. I was also wondering how can the girls take the pregnancy test so quick? For a human, with the human, it takes a while. But Karamesian, a human, the ovulation is almost instantaneous. So where, where is this better place? I have a family island right on this planet. I transport all the pregnant ones out there. And I have many beautiful ladies, many healthy children, boys, girls. He's everything that the Nazis hate. If they found out what he was doing, mixing races, they would kill him. Not only me, all of us. By the way, Robinson, I have to go back to report to base. Otherwise, they will start to search you for me. You're right. You need to go back. Nobody needs to find out about this planet. Are you really going to let him go? I mean, do you trust him that he's not going to rat us out? I trust him 100%. You don't have other choice. Well, actually, I was thinking about killing you and sending up a clone programmed to commit suicide so everyone would think you were dead, but really, I just trust you. Here's the key card. You'll find the ship on the west bank behind the hill. And I will be back after two solarization. I wanted to ask you about that. Why are you always landing during solarization? 
I use the planet in natural phenomenon to make the girls believe that I'm God connected with. Asshole. Plus, I cannot ever take the radiation anyway. Uh, me neither. My computer created a medical formula for me to take and I still have to hide in the shade. My skin can't even take the shade. Maybe we can share the medicine next time. What do you think? You got it, Amkar. Good luck. Thank you. Out of the brain, out of paramedians. Hail the brain. SS Battle Station, this is a Hunker 69. Reporting from sector 3856.2. Returning to base. Where you been, Amkar? You were out of range for an awful long time. I head to the road to sector 7 in order to avoid a meteor magnetic field. I could not report it. I was getting worried about you. Find any human ships? Not yet. I think it was terminated. All humans. The brain says there's always more than one way to catch a rat. Never underestimate the filthy humans. Hail the brain. Hail Carmichaels. Out of the brain. Prepare for docking. <laughs> open communication with uh, SS officer Bruno Hurst, ID WS248. Hello friend, how are you? I'm in the out of sector, hunting for humans. I can tell you're out of range, we're experiencing a pretty bad connection here. Uh, listen, listen, uh, the reason I called was, uh, I smell something. This, uh, Italian scientist. Amcar to 69th. He stinks. I don't like him. Why do you say that? Ah, he seems to like the humans too much. Don't say that. You have no proof. I need no proof. I can smell a traitor. If he's a traitor, then uh, we have to find proof and sort him out. You know, I remember him at the academy, at the shooting range. He was always closing his eyes every time it came time to shoot a human. Really? That's why he didn't make it into the Waffen SS group. He was lucky with his talent in bioprogramming, otherwise he never would have made it into the army. <laughs> Dirty Italian. Now I don't care if they're direct descendants of Mussolini or whatever. The brain never should have allied with these Italian bastards in the first place. Now I'm I'm gonna launch a full hey, investigation into this Amcar. Bruno, are you there? Uh, Officer Hurst, do you copy? Huh. I guess not. Amcar. <sighs> Welcome, Professor Amcar. Project Sexy Clones activated. Repeated unauthorized access attempted. Who we'll access this program? Nobody. Reason? Incorrect password. Analyze their fingerprints. Analyzing. 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 Fingerprint match. Result on screen. Do you want to erase Sexy Clones Project? If certain, please confirm. Mute. 
deactivate terminal vocal response. Assess by the station. This is a Hunker 69. Ready for departure. Amcar, you just got in. Where are you going so fast? Um, I refueled. My vessel looks good. And uh, I'm ready to go on course to Panzer Base 19. Never break, huh, Amcar? Working hard? Yes, sir. I try my best to help the Empire. Help the brain, help the Caramidians. Help brain. Good. What exactly is your assignment on Panzer Base 19? Oh, I need to start writing codes for a new software that will increase the isometric emission on the post -histron. By acquiring triple half a process of a beta decay and reducing its branching ratio, I can use the galactic cosmic... Okay, enough. Enough. Is this going to help us to detect any more human nests? Exactly what it's for, sir. Okay, Amcar. Proceed. Thank you, officer. You're the Montana. Open mission directory, Amcar the 69th, Panzer Base 19. Checking. I'm car the 69th on Panzer Base 19. Duration, 24 sequences. Purpose, scientific research. <laughs> I don't believe it one tiny little bit. Officer Lucas, you have one unheard reminder. Hey, go ahead. In your cabin, there are five humans alive ready for torture. The choices are malnutrition, immune system, chemical injection, amputation, electric shocks, and sterilization. Uh, enough, enough. I, there's no time for torture now. I got other things to do. Jennifer, how are you? Fine. Good. I have a surprise for you. Ooh, what is it? I found the film that you told me about. Oh, I've really been wanting to watch that. Good, good job. That, that's 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 amazing. I mean, how did you find it? I looked for it everywhere. It was, it was hidden and deleted, and I had to unerase down to level three of one of the memory chips. Wow. <laughs> I want you to be proud of me. I am proud of you. I'm I'm proud of both of you. You guys have so far by exceeded my expectations. Come on, let's watch the film. This is an emergency video to all humans. Everyone must watch. We are under attack by an extraterrestrial race. The evacuation began eight months ago. If you are still on Earth, you need to know that more space vessels are being built and the World Army is currently fighting back. Right now, we're going to answer the two main questions being asked. Who are these aliens, and why are they attacking us? One year ago, one of our spaceship explorers encountered an advanced civilization. They call themselves Karamingians, and they come from the Sagittarius Dwarf Elliptical Galaxy, which is 80,000 light years away. To travel this great distance, they discovered a new interstellar technology, which opened a wormhole that let them arrive here in just 94 days. 
MASA, in association with the government, decided to keep this top secret in order not to create panic among world citizens. If they were friendly, what made them attack us? As far as we know, everything started when a group of Carmingian scientists traveled into Earth's past. Their mission? Human brain development. For some obscure reason, they downloaded for research the brain hippocampus information from one of the most devious and slimy humans in the 20th century, Adolf Hitler. When they uploaded this information, in their computers for testing, Hitler's brain took over their main central computer unit that has power over the entire Carmigian race. The brain brought them back to a retarded political system of Nazism, fascism. We have knowledge that the brain is able to instantly kill any Carmigian that speaks against the system, along with his entire family. Humans, we have only one choice left to destroy Hitler's brain located inside the command center on a Karamigian battle station. It is protected by a personal guard unit, a Karamigian squadron called the SS. Until the destruction of Hitler's brain, kill any Karamigian on sight. They see us as an inferior race and they are calling for a complete genocide. The Third World War has begun. But I don't understand. How did the brain take over the world? I don't know how it happened either, but the main thing is it did. Now we're in trouble. No human could have gotten to this to short circuit it somehow. No, it seems like it's too hard. Maybe Amcar can help you. Help me do what? To beat the brain. She's right, you should do it. Not really. But you're a general. It's your duty. You are a general, aren't you? January, some things change, okay? There was a time when I felt like I could conquer the brain. But being here on this island with you guys, I just want to relax and keep a low profile. Low profile? Don't you think you're being selfish? Maybe I am being selfish, or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just being realistic. Okay, there's hundreds and thousands of human refugees fighting the brain's forces. And if they can't beat them, what makes you think I can? Because you're brave, and you're strong, and you're smart. It's true, but... No, you know what? I just want to relax. But what about all those innocent people? What about the women and children who are being exterminated by the Nazis as we speak? I can't change anything, January. Okay, there, there was a time when I thought I could do that, but not anymore. I, I didn't show you guys this movie because I wanted you to yell and accuse me. I showed you so you could understand, but I really just want to relax. You know what? Leave me alone. I'm done with you guys. You know what? We will leave you alone. Come on, Jennifer. You lost your good heart, Robinson. I feel sorry for you. Turns out you're a coward, and you're weak, and you're stupid after all. I'm so disappointed in you. Hail Brain, hail Carmenians. I need to speak with you, Chancellor. What do you need? Well, I've come to reveal a traitor. Who is that traitor? His name is Amkar the 69th. Kill him. I'm responsible for killing almost a billion people. I'm interested in mass extermination. Why are you wasting my time with one irrelevant life? But well, he's one of your favorite computer programmers, and. Uh... As a rule state, I have to ask for permission in special cases like these. Otherwise, he'd be dead by now. Who is he again? Amcar the 69th. He wrote a few of the bloodiest computer games ever for you. Uh, Children Armageddon, Blood Lords 2, Kill Mama, uh, World War II Reloaded, Forever Guts, Raw Meat to Beginning. Enough. I remember him. He made fun games that kept me happy while I had nothing to destroy. He was good, but no traitor is that good to be kept alive. Hail the brain. I agree. 
I see that he is on his way to Pouncer Base 19 for an assignment. I believe he may have a different route. Impossible. I have a transmitter on a spaceship. But what if he tricked the system? Check more into it and report back ASAP with the results. If it is true, that means I'll have to upgrade my tracking structure. Go now! Hail the bright. Oh, uh... <clears throat> one more thing, Chancellor. Uh, this Amcar guy, he's awful strong. and I'm gonna need some more muscle. I'm gonna need someone to watch my back on this investigation. I'd really appreciate it if you would assign SS Officer Bruno Hurst to this investigation with me. Bruno Horst, A.K. Bruno the Psychopath, my kind of guy. Request granted. Thank you, Chancellor. I'm going to assign him right away. He kills children for breakfast. You will be safe with him. He's one of my best friends. Hail the brain. Hail Carl Mitchens. Hello. I've gathered everyone here today because I've made a very important decision. I had a talk with January and Jennifer today. And these two girls helped me realize that my eyes have been closed. I love it here on this island, on this planet. There's something about it that just makes me feel alive. But because of that, it's made me forget who I am and where I come from. Vessel. Measure Smith ME 300. Owner, I'm a car the 69. This is SS Battlecruiser X22 MCAR 69. Do you copy? So I've made a decision. I've decided to fight against the brain and the Nazi Carolingians. I'm gonna fight for you, I'm gonna fight for humanity, and I'm gonna fight for freedom. Because freedom is something we should die for! Yeah! yeah! None, do you copy? And you are not alone, Robinson. We will fight back to back with you. And if you need it, I will die. Welcome back, Amkar. We need to eradicate fascism. Give it to Karamisians. Freedom, again. Because freedom is everything. <laughs> For the revolution! For the revolution! Yeah. For the revolution! Yeah. Revolution! 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 Photon torpedoes engaged. Target previously identified vessel ME 300. Warning, on Pandora Base 19 are present 12 kilotons of antimatter. Destroying the vessel will result in chain reaction. We are too close and our shields won't hold to this explosion. Danger, if we fire, we are going to be destroyed. Well, I'm ready to be my 72 versions. Computer, fire. Computer, target to base and repeat fire. Computer, switch the main view to gamma rays and apply photoelectric scatter. Communication signal incoming. Caller, Bruno Horse is not in the normal range. Only audio signal with distortion. Accept. The brain assigned me to Amcar's investigation. I'm on my way back to our solar system. <laughs> hey Bruno, good to hear from you, buddy. <laughs> Hurry up, I got more information for you. <laughs> I'm over here at the location of Panzer Base 19. He's using an orthographic projection as a decoy. <laughs> what? An ancient trick. Yeah. 
I told you, rats is too stanky for my nose. <laughs> Come fast, we gotta find it. Send me the coordinates. I am traveling three quarters over the line. I will join you ASAP. So if there's more Carominjians like you out there, why haven't none of them gotten to the brain and crashed it? Hmm. Seems pretty simple, but it's not. First, you have to pass the SS Quaid, which is almost impossible, because they know each other, one another one, perfectly. They will kill any intruder at the first sight. What about getting a spy? There are MK, Ultra Mind Control. They will kill for the Fuhrer. Well, what about just blowing up the entire battle station and being done with it? Too simple, Robinson. Don't you think somebody else have done it by now? What's the problem? What's the problem, Robinson? The problem is that in the battle station is Big Daddy Bomb. So let's say you get it through the shield with a couple of torpedoes. If you blow up the battle station, you burn up the entire galaxy. The brain's able to trigger a bomb. Absolutely. He sit on it. We need to get him out of the battle station so we can disarm the bomb. He never leaves his room. When there's no coordinating attacks in real life, he kills people on the computer. On computer? Yeah. He plays computer games. I'm a software programmer, and I know. I even created some games for his console, hoping to kill more people in uh, virtual reality and less in the real life. Well, well, maybe we should create a game or something that would get him to leave the bomb room. I mean, if we do that, you can disarm the bomb, right? Piece of cake, but he never leaves the station. There's the thing. I mean, there has to be something. He must have a weakness. I agree. We need to go back in history and analyze his brain then. I mean, his brain must be the same. Identical. Same thought process, same memories. He's just adapted to this day and age. <laughs> Absolute ruler Adolf Hitler. Do you know anything about his religion? I know a lot about his brain, but I have to analyze his past to figure out what kind of game he likes. Hmm. He was born from Roman Catholic humans. In school, began to reject the church. He didn't believe any other Nazi leader of his time. At all. Well, you can't get him with God. What about his uh, health? Irregular herbit. Pakistan disease. Ah, he like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a strong addiction to methamphetamine. Drugs, that's interesting. Might be. But it's impossible to insert any substance to his brain. Besides, you have to do it multiple times to get him addicted. Ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. But maybe we can use the addiction as an advantage. Do you know anything about his sexuality? We know <laughs> that can be addictive. Sexuality, Robinson. Big mystery. Some say homosexual. Some say asexual. As a fact, as we know, he had the three relationships with the three females. The fiancé, the mistress, and the niece. His niece? Sick. During the relationship with him, all three females, they uh, tried to suicide. Poor bastard. I mean, with all that power, he could have had any woman he wanted. You got it. That's it. You got it. What? <laughs> you figured out. Figured out what? Can't you see? You give us an answer. He just gave us an answer. Sexual inhibition. The brain wants women. Yes! Psychological and social transition between the childhood and adulthood is not complete for him. Oh, that's right, puberty. Teenage boys suppress their sexuality at puberty. Yes. The brain is just like them. Everything matches. He still like games. Games filled with the hunger. But how are we going to give him the women? Maybe we should clone some body case and he can actually dead a lady. But how 
we put the brain inside the body case. I got it. How? Here's what we're gonna do. Get ready. Bill Gates is coming to town. You're gonna build a virus. Hands up, submit it once. So, here we are. Rats of different species mixing with each other. Isn't that nice? Hail the brain, hail Carominjins. By Carominjin war law, I request the right to become a slave. Shut up, you schmuck. Don't even dare to speak. I can't explain everything. I'm Car the Traitor. We found your ship, the real one. We deciphered your sexy clone project. We know everything you've done here. We've seen your human bitches. <laughs> you are one sick bastard. I can't believe you're one of us. Mixing with humans. When I found out how you're trying to dilute our pure race, I wanted to vomit. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> I discovered the other island. The one with all the women and children. Now the brain will be happy to hear this, but uh, I wanted to tell you myself that we tortured and killed every last one of them. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> Bob Carr! Why do you have that weapon set on stun? Set it on high beam and fry them! have everything under control. Robertson? Is true upon my island? My family? My children? These were the only ones left alive. I'm sorry, Amkar. They are all dead. No! Revenge. You must get revenge. Where are those two bastard Nazis? I want to kill them right now. Wait, Oscar, wait, wait, ah! wait, wait. Don't let the anger overwhelm you. I want to kill them just as much as you do. We need these two alive. Complete the plan, you know that. When I will be done with you, I will fry you like a chicken. Slowly. I actually have a better idea for these two. We need to insert the virus into them. They're the only ones that can get past the guards. Oh yes, tell me more about the virus. I need you to write a sexual inhibition virus, something to stimulate the brain and get it to leave the battle station. That way we can disarm the bomb. Good. I will start the brain with my own hands. I replace it with intelligent silicon. So they can act like a puppets. But I need to do this without an aesthetic. So they can suffer like my family did. problem with that. Well, I'm ready to meet my 60 virgins. <laughs> 72. Even better. <laughs> All right, girls, here we go. It's for the virus. Let's act sexy. There you go. Good. That's good. Yeah, look. Move each other's hair. Maybe brush each other's hair on. Okay? Nice. Nazis brains! Nazis brains are open son! Nazis brains!
Hail the brain. Hail Carl Mingians. What are the results? Did you find Amcor? Yes. We were wrong about him. He is working very hard on the Panzer Base 19. I'm glad because I like his games. He made a brand new game for you to play. Oh, he did. Why did you not say so faster? I want it installed. With pleasure, Chancellor. Where is Bruno? Bomb disarmed. Success! Yes! We disarmed the bomb! <laughs> Bruno, pick up the brain. We have to go back. <laughs> okay, let's save the celebration for later. And let's now let it know to all the Karamesians, and now they are free. You're right. Let's send a message, Amkar. Use all frequencies available. But if I use all frequencies, the Karamesians, Nazis, will hear it too. And they track the signal and destroy this entire planet. They're gonna find out either way. Right now, the Waffen SS squad is on their way. We need to take this chance. Let's do it. Attention, this is Amkar 69. I am a Karamesian. To all good Karamesian and human citizens, attention please. We should see to disarm the bomb. Hitler's brain is disacted as well. And you know what that means. It's peace between all races and all planets in a whole universe. This is General Robinson Caruso. I assure you that everything my friend Amkar said is true. Karamesians and humans must unite. Right now there are Waffen SS Nazis on their way to destroy us. We need your help. We need cover against Nazi space cruisers. I'm sending the coordinates right now. Again, all good Karamesians and humans get together at these coordinates. Human and Karamesian, we are now as one. The revolution has begun. All right, Amkar, put this message in the loop and broadcast it continuously. Robinson, does that mean there will be more guys like you coming here? No, uh, maybe just for a visit, but this is my island. What about me, Robinson? Oh, you're a Karamejian hero. Uh, you freed your people from fascism. They're bound to make you a king. <laughs> oh, they are here. Mission complete. Is the brain? I deactivated the bomb. Any battle cruisers follow you out here? Yes. ETA and point two sequence. The brain is still asleep. Let's destroy it now. It can wake up any time. I send telepathic messages to the Nazis. I agree. Wait, we're not even gonna have to. The solarization is coming. We gotta take cover. Sexy game. Play. I want to play more sexy game. It's game over, Adolf. Dead Nazis. Robinson, come quick. The Nazi battle cruisers are getting close to our planet. I see you prepare for the battle. Nice, clean, and shape. By 
you know we have no chance, officer. We might have a chance. Shields are down to 3%, Robinson. We have the right rear on fire. Couple more hits and we're done. Never fear, Omkar. Our boys are here. and humans fighting together against the Nazis. This is what I dream of all my life, Robinson. Una mano la tra mano. I told you they'd show up on time. Yeah. Let's get this bastards now. Activation. Hey, baby. Hey, my friend. You were right for what you said. What are you talking about? They made me candy, Robinson. Il capo di tutti i capi. Come here, baby. That's great, man. Congratulations. Good luck with your kingdom. Thanks a lot. Hey, do you have any good-looking women over there? Oh, yeah. Actually, I just finished cloning some of them this morning. Eh? Eh, can you see? Eh, it's okay. I'm just moving. Hey, you baby. Hey. All right, Robinson. Arrivederci. Thank you.